So guys, there's been a lot of debate about yesterday's, uh, I mean, last night's next gen card. Uh, Jordan Gill obviously pulled out um, of his, um, oh sorry, not pulled out. He got he got defeated by Enrico Tanaco. Uh, many people are saying that he should have pulled out. He had food poisoning. Um, before I said that, he obviously had the shits, but um, it's obviously come to it's obviously come now that he had food poisoning on the day of the of the day of the fight. Many people are labeling it excuses. Many people are saying, "Well, he just got beat by the better fighter." Um, I I think that guy. I think for, personally, I think that guy that he fought. Um, it was too early for him. I think he was probably just a better fighter. A lot of people said, "Well, you know, this guy went the distance with Devin Haney." So, you know, Devin Haney is almost at world level now. You know, I think he's about to fight for a title soon. You know, he's in, he's in the recognition to fight for a title. So, you know, Jordan Gill's nowhere near that level yet. So, and this guy went 12 rounds with him. So I think it might have just been a case where, you know, Jordan Gill was stepped up, you know, a bit too early. Um, but obviously, if he was ill and he had food poisoning, maybe... Maybe, you know, that played a part, but I think it was a bit of both. I think it was majority of the fact that he, the guy was a bet, the guy was probably a better fighter and he was more experienced and he had competed at a high level, whereas Jordan Gill was, was you know, still green, you know, and he, had, he, he fought a guy that was, you know, probably a little bit better, at, you know, in this stage of Jordan Gill's career. But I do think, I do think if he had some kind of illness, he should have pulled out rather than taking taking the fight and... Now he's going to receive a lot of stick, you know, and I mentioned that in my video that I did last night, you know, he should, he, personally, when you're ill, you need to think about yourself, you need, this is a selfish sport, because as Eddie Ern says, this, get, this boxing game is snakes and ladders, it's snakes and ladders, you know, if you lose, you go down the ladder, if you win, you continue to keep going up, and unfortunately for um, Jordan Gill, he's now gone down the ladder, and Eddie Ian mentioned something after the fight that, you know, you've got to keep winning because if you keep winning, the promoters are going to look after you. The broadcasters are going to want you. Uh, if you lose, then you're not going to have the same kind of priority. Of course, that's natural if you're winning. So if, so that's really, that, that loss is obviously going to hurt Jordan Gill from all those aspects. But like I said, there has been examples of fighters before that have lost. I mentioned it, Amir Khan lost and he was two fights later was was world champion um you know there's many guys there's many other guys that have that have lost you know Dillian White he's lost look where he is now yes he's not world champion but look he's on the state cusp of fighting for a world title he's making huge money he's a pay-per-view fighter so like I said it's not the end of the world it depends on you it depends on how mentally strong you are it depends on how determined and how how good you are how skilled you are you know and and Dave Caldwell and Eddie Hearn have been praising Jordan Gill for for a while, saying that this guy is very skilled, very very skilled. Um, but you've got to go out there and, and prove it. You've got to go out there and prove it. And a lot of these young prospects have, when when they've been stepped up by Eddie Hearn, they have been beat. And obviously Eddie Hearn may have to look at his 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 strategy. But I just think in the current climate with social media and the way the way the broadcasters want these guys and how the broadcasters the fights that the broadcasters want they don't want easy fights they want meaningful fights you know there's a lot of pressure from all directions so the chances are these guys are not going to get that development phase that you know they they used to in the past they need to they they're going to have to start finding meaningful fights yeah they can have a couple of fights like that but they can't have a load of fights like that you know uh, they're gonna have to be. They're gonna have to be stepped up because of the pressure of the fans and the social media in today's time and in current climate. You know, you're not gonna. You're not gonna be able to have chicken feed. But then you are risking the progression uh, of young fighters because if you step them in too early, they get beat. Uh, they might not ever be the same fighter. Their confidence might be hit for six, and they might not ever be able to recover. That's the risk you take. But I do think that Jordan Gill should have pulled out of this fight against Enrique Tanaco if he was ill because he was he was stepping up against a guy that was a, a much higher level. It was his it was his step up fight. And you know, you don't want to go up in your step up fight against a guy that's um that's on a higher level and you're ill, you know. And I think jo Josh Kelly did exactly the same thing against Avenissi and he pulled out because he knew that he can't afford to go into a fight of a guy with a higher level it being ill. 
and he and he pulled out and he made the right call because he could have got beat that night. But yeah, guys, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.